today I will be showing you how to get S8 Plus features on your Galaxy S6. For this we will be installing a custom ROM called Superstock S8 Fastlight. Before we begin, make sure to back up any important files and data. Also, make sure that your phone's battery percentage is at 50% or higher. For this to work, we will need TWRP. If you are unsure on how to install TWRP, watch the previous video I made. That video will show you how to install it and all the features that it has. I will be installing this ROM on my Galaxy S6 which has the model number SMG920F. Other model numbers are compatible however. The ROM is very stable with mostly everything working. The only thing that doesn't work is the iris scanner and that's because the Galaxy S6 doesn't have an iris scanner. The ROM has also removed a lot of Samsung bloatware apps and optimised the RAM so the phone should be running smoothly. This ROM also comes with root access, allowing you to use your phone fully and without any restrictions. Okay, this is the only file you will need and that's obviously the ROM. Now you won't need any uh, G apps or Google apps and that's because the Play Store is built in to this ROM. So as always this will be in the description down below so just download it and save it to your desktop. It's 1.92 gigabytes in size. Once you've downloaded it you just want to place this onto your phone's internal storage. Now I've already done that. Now once you've done that you can continue on with the next step which is going into TWRP and actually installing it. So let's go do that now. Okay, to get back into TeamWin, we're going to need to press a combination of buttons, and those are Volume Up, Home, and Power all at the same time. So keep holding those buttons when you see Galaxy S6 come up, and let go when you see this. As you can see, I'm on 61%. Now the first thing we're going to do is click wipe and select here advanced wipe. Now you're going to want to check dalvik slash art cache system data and cache. Once all of those are selected just swipe to wipe. And when it says done just go back back again and then swipe to factory reset when it says done just press this middle home button select install swipe down until you see this super stock SA fast light click that and then swipe to confirm flash Now this is now installing the S8 ROM on our Galaxy S6. So I'll speed this bit up and I'll be back once it's finished. Okay, there we go, it now says done. Now we can just reboot our system by clicking this button. Also, if your screen goes black during this flash or install process, just tap on it and then swipe to unlock. Now that it's installed, we can just hit reboot system. And this will take some time as it's doing the first boot, getting everything ready. As you can see, we have the Samsung boot up. Now, once again, I'll be back once this is finished. I'll just speed this bit up. Now, it did say that the boot may take anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes. 
So just be patient and yeah, just wait for it to boot up. Now not every single boot will take this long, this it'll just happen the first time you install the ROM. So I'll be back once it has booted. Okay, there we go. We have now booted in to the setup screen. So I'll just guide you through the setup. Here it is. We're on 55 battery percentage remaining. Superstock I say here. You can select your language. I'm just gonna leave that. Click start. Click OK. Okay, so now I'm just going to connect to the Wi Fi network and I'll be back once I've done that. Okay, I've just entered in my password, so I'm just going to click connect. There we go, connected. Once it's connected, just click next. I just want to agree to all. Now I'm going to uncheck the bottom one. So hit next. Now I'll just check for updates. And it's going to ask you to sign in to your Google account. So I'm going to do that now. Now it's going to ask you if you want to back up to Google Drive, which I'm not going to do. And then I'll just leave the rest on. Just hit next. Okay, so it's automatically detected the time. So I'm just going to hit next. Now it's going to ask you to protect your phone. And as you can see, you've got face recognition, fingerprint, and iris, and then pin or password or just nothing. Now, the iris and face recognition, they don't work. The fingerprint scanner and the pin pattern or password, they work. But I'm just going to skip those for now. Okay, now I'll just ask you to sign in with your Samsung account, so I'm just going to skip. And then hit skip. Okay, so there's some things you may want to enable. Now you can also change the screen layout or the zoom. But I'm just going to leave it like that and then just click finish. And there we go. You are now booted into the I say it wrong. There you go, you also get the infinity wallpapers. And this is what the lock screen looks like. There you go, you get that clock. Now if you have a look over to the settings and then just go to about phone, you'll see it's changed your model number from SMG920F or whatever your previous model number was to SMG955 which is the model number for the S8 Plus. Now if you don't like this ROM and you want to install a different ROM, make sure you still get the ROM for the original model number. So I would get a ROM for SMG920F, not 
SM G955. Now it's running on Android on Android 7, but the Samsung Experience version is on 8.1. Now if you swipe up, you'll see that there's no apps. Now that's because all the apps are currently on your home screen. There we go. That's all of the apps that come with it. Now if you want the apps back, so when you swipe all the apps will show, hold down, click home screen settings, home screen layout, nope, not grid, you want to click home screen layout, and then home and app screens, and hit apply, apply, and if you go home, you can see there's all your apps, so as I said, most of the bloatware has been removed, there are a few apps left, Now because you have root access you can completely get rid of these apps if you don't want them. Okay now we're just going to check that root is properly installed. For that we're going to go over to play store. I'm just going to ask you to go through the keyboard so I'm just going to click skip for now. And on the play store you want to type in root check and it'll be this one here just want to press install and wait for this to download as you can see the Wi-Fi is working fine again fast download speeds it's installed very quickly once it's installed just hit open hit agree just keep swiping and just click get started and then you want to just click verify root and I'm just going to ask you to grant root access so just click grant and there we go root is properly installed on this device now I also wanted to show you this the always on display works as well you can enable it here and when you power your phone off you get this and it's just going to ask you to go through the tutorial when you click the home button there we go so that's going to be it for today's video if you have enjoyed it make sure to drop a like comment down below what you want to see next um thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one goodbye guys